In this experiment, we're going to have fun with Boyle's law. All kinds of variations. You need four big syringes, 60 ml, brand new syringes, and a couple of balloons. Now fill a little pot of water in a balloon and tie a knot in the balloon so as to make a baby balloon ball. And this ball should be just big enough to go into the barrel of the syringe. Similarly, blow a small amount of air in a balloon and once again tie the knot. Now this is the balloon filled with air. Trim their knots. The ones to the right have water, ones to the left have air in them. Now place, this is a 60 milliliter brand new syringe. You can pull out the plunger and remove the plunger. Only the transparent barrel is there. Now put a balloon ball inside the barrel and then put the plunger. This is going to be the basic structure of the experiment. In the first one, we just have an air ball and air inside the syringe. And once you press it inside, the ball shrivels. Once you, see, as you push the plunger in, because there is air inside the balloon, it shrivels and shrinks. If you pull the plunger out, the balloon expands and becomes very very large. There is air inside this balloon and there is air inside the syringe. In the second one we have the air inside the syringe but there is water inside the ball and once you press it you can't press the ball at all it remains the same size. We'll see this in a bigger view. If you push it in the ball remains the same size because it's filled with water. If you pull out the plunger ball still remains the same, water is incompressible and you, it doesn't expand and does not contract. In the third one, we have water in the syringe and air in the balloon and if you push it in, the ball shrivels. If you pull it out, the ball expands. See this once again in a closer view. Here is a ball with air. As you push the plunger in, the ball shrivels, becomes very very small in size and there is colored water inside the syringe. If you pull the syringe out, the air ball has space to expand and it becomes very large. In the last one, there is water in the syringe and water inside the balloon. If you push in, you can't push in and you can't pull out. Here, we are trying, there is water inside the syringe and there is water inside the ball. You can't push in because water is virtually incompressible and you can't even pull the syringe out. This shows that air can be compressed but water can't be compressed. Here you can see these young school students having a ball of a time and this is how science should be learned through experiments.